Hello, lovely Gemini. I hope you guys are having an absolutely great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to do something different and exciting today. Today, we're not doing a read for you. Today, we are doing a read for your soulmate. So this is going to give you a little window uh, into who you are meant to be with. And guys, if you are already recognizing this situation, this might reflect a relationship that you're in right now. Uh, and that would indicate that you have definitely already found your soulmate and we had a card go sideways here, so this is the one we want to start with. This is a deep breath. So this person needs to step back and take a deep breath from what's going on in their life. They're dealing with a lot of stress, uh, dealing with a lot of high emotions. This card is all about sort of taking time to step back, to relax, to meditate, to de-stress and decompress. I also have beautiful uncaging. So this speaks of unlocking your heart, opening up your heart. And this might be what this deep breath uh, is connected to and maybe being able to, to look within and realizing that if this person wants their true love, if they want that soulmate connection, that deep uh, love and understanding, they're going to have to open up their heart to be able to receive it. I also have shining through, so allowing who they are, allowing their beautiful qualities to be able to shine through, and this is tied to uncaging. This is like wearing your heart on your sleeve, being open about who you are, being willing uh, to give and to receive love. Exposed and revealed. Mm, interesting. Uh, all about personal truths. Uh, feeling exposed, feeling revealed, and sometimes feeling like emotions are raw. Um, this is definitely tying into needing to open up, needing to delve into those personal truths. And, and it is tied to the uncaging and opening up your heart, wearing your heart on your sleeve and not hiding anything, not walling your heart away. The roses kiss, the roses kiss speaks of a need to be able to stop and smell the roses, to appreciate the beautiful, wonderful things in life. So they're going through something right now, whatever they're going through. And it might be a transitional period because maybe a relationship came to an end or maybe a career came to an end. It's some sort of a change in their life. They're very busy. I feel very stressed out. And that's why this Rose's Kiss has come into play. And guys, this Rose's Kiss uh, might even be encouraging them to, to do those things that they enjoy, to take time for that. Uh, because that might be where the two of you guys meet. I also have the nine of wands. The nine of wands represents a journey over time, something they've been working towards for a long time, uh, slaving away, definitely having to overcome obstacle after obstacle. Uh, this is why they're so stressed out as well. And this is why they need to take time to breathe. And this might be a relationship that came to an end and maybe, maybe it was even a marriage and they had to go through court uh, and, and it's been just a long battle and it's felt absolutely exhausting and draining. I also have the devil card. So the devil card does represent a destructive force in their life. Uh, and this could be the stress that they're dealing with from all of this. This can be overwhelming emotions. This can be feeling worn down. This can be walling off their heart as well. This is anything that's going to have a negative or destructive force in their life that they're dealing with. The king of swords. Interesting. So swords is indicative of an air sign. Gemini is an air sign. Uh, this might speak to the two of you meeting. Mm, interesting. I'm going to pull some more cards. I want to see if this one is talked about. And then I pull the lover's card. So this card is most likely talking about you. It's most likely talking about the two of you meeting. Uh, but there are still, there are things that they need to do. There's work that they need to do. And it has to do with this beautiful uncaging and opening up their heart to be able to see what's around them, which refers to you. It refers to the rose's kiss. You are the rose's kiss. You are the beautiful, wonderful things around them that if they don't pull this wall down from around their heart, uh, and open up to life again, they're not going to be able to recognize that and see that. And that's why the cards are encouraging this taking a step back and decompressing uh, and enjoying the wonderful things in life and being able to sort of let go of those worries, let go of those insecurities, those stresses, those negative emotions, and just open up. I also have the page of wands, which represents good news on the way. 
This is also tied to the nine of wands, the journey over time that they're working towards. They're coming to the end of whatever this journey is. They're about to have some finality here. And I feel positivity in this finality. And this might even speak to looking for their own soulmate. This might be their search for you that's about to come to an end because maybe the two of you are about to meet quite quickly here. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles represents new beginnings. There is a new beginning coming for them. This is what they've been working towards for such a long time, this new beginning. I also have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands represents building, building for the future, building for a happy future. This is what their new beginning is going to be. They're going to be building for a happy future. This might even be uh, what their journey has been so far, putting in the groundwork uh, so that they could start building for a future. I have the Fool card. The Fool card represents taking a leap of faith. He can also speak to a new perspective. You're going to bring a new perspective and he needs, this person needs a new perspective to be able to recognize you. Uh, this is what the Rose's Kiss is going to do as well and the a deep breath, taking a deep breath, being able to release the stresses, decompress uh, and enjoy the world around them, open up to all those wonderful, beautiful things. It's a new perspective that's going to help them to recognize you coming into their life and it's going to make you open to receive that. I also have the Empress. This is a growing journey for them. This is something that they've had to go through. It's something that's a vital part of their journey through this life to help them grow in different ways so that they can find the success that they want to attain and part of that success is attaining you as having that soulmate bond and that soulmate connection. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said about your soulmate. I hope you enjoyed this little window into their life, their mind, and their soul and heart. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.